I've got everything that you need to start the day. Headphones, machine is on, coffee, my notes, microphone, and the brain is on. Five Life, yes, to start the day. And then in an hour's time, I go to the studio, more Five Life. And then uh, got my ticket to the game. Which game? Spain, Germany. How do I feel? Confident? That didn't sound very confident, but I am. I think Spain will beat Germany. We are Germany's bogus team, so I'm going to spend the whole day saying that we're winning this game. <laughs> we're going to beat them. What's the point of being somebody's bogus team and not using it? Mental games from the beginning of the day to the end, and then we'll see what happens. Because that's one thing that Luis Enrique insists on. We're going to do our best. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, we'll congratulate the rivals. I agree with that uh, attitude, but in any case, I do see Spain favorite. And it's interesting with what's happening with Germany. They were very good for an hour against Japan. Japan, very, very good. Should have won that game. And yet they started to doubt the style, the players. Some of them don't seem strong enough to win the ball. And that's been said by some of their teammates for a result in a World Cup dose. And Spain has to take advantage of it. This is the kind of thing we spoke to um, Rafael Honigstein yesterday. And uh, I think it would be worthwhile for you to listen to another clip of a conversation with, uh, with Rafi. As we saw with Germany with the protest, people, because football is inherently a very beautiful but also very stupid game where you can play well and still lose people need explanations and they will jump on anything that explains something and just as much as people jumped on Germany holding um, their hands before their mouths for five seconds as a reason why they lost against Japan I'm sure there'll be some people saying if Spain lose this it's because this they manager has been talking about all sorts of stuff, an Bizarre. hour every couple of days on Twitch, why is he not doing his job? Yeah, bizarre analysis, but uh, you're absolutely right, people would say that. Anyway, more Five Life now, but now from the studio. So you do now know about Recycling Lives, do you? Because if you don't, you should. I'm supporting Recycling Lives through the tournament and more, because they deserve it. Uh, it's a great charity that helps people that have just come out from, uh, from prison and uh, gives them the opportunity to, um, to be part of a team and to work in recycling. So have a look, donate if you can, check, uh, you'll have the, the detail in the, uh, down there somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, and you'll be able to uh, discover any world, somebody that's really doing a very good job. So recycling lives. Keep an eye on them. Good. Hi, Joan, how are you? Thank you so much again. Loved it. Like, really loved it. Kelly loves Argentina. He, he was Argentinian in another life. Big link between Scotland and Argentina. That I, could, I could have some kind of genetic memory. <laughs> yes, I don't know. So what? You got a problem with that? I need a sugar. I'm going to rest. Otherwise, it becomes a very long day, and I have to start early as well tomorrow, so a siesta will be appreciated. It is dark, long siesta today, needed the rest, and uh, with the soundtrack of uh, prayers, let me tell you what I think is happening with Spain. Luis Enrique has managed to put together things that help you go find the tournament, I feel. Number one, clear leadership his nobody doubts that number two he has chosen the players that help him with his idea not the best players number three he insisted with the idea the style that you see since his arrival in 2018 and remember in a tournament you don't have time to create another style or or even create a versatile style you better stick to one idea because that all you have to do is is get the players for it, uh, players that do it in their own teams, for instance. And he certainly has got that. And he has created harmony 
uh, in the side. So there's there's no arguments. Uh, he's in charge, and everybody feels important. He says he will not repeat any level. So everybody has to be sharp for what's coming, and what's coming is Germany. So let's get to the stadium. It's about four hours from the kickoff of um, at Albiat Stadium, and I'm looking forward to this. By the way, the result of uh, Japan. Costa Rica has made easy, things easier for uh, Germany that uh, they don't even need to win today to actually qualify. Still be a big game. One hour before the game, I've got the coffee, I've got the water, I've got the nerves, thing in the stomach. Uh, it's still happening because even though it doesn't mean as much uh, with the result from uh, Costa Rica, still is one of those uh, reality tests. Can we beat Germany? Can we play better than Germany? And if they play better than us, congratulations. Uh, it's one of the messages that we're getting from Luis Enrique today, by the way. His daughter, Shana, would have, would have been her birthday, 13th birthday. Uh, she passed away when she was nine. And he went cycling today, Luis Enrique, and posted on Instagram a message saying, you could have been 13, whatever you are, happy birthday. I just couldn't be more fan of Luis Enrique. Um, he just is telling us, just look into the bright side, even in the darker moments. So um, he is a great leader, he, he really is. I hope it goes well for the national side and I hope it goes well today. Only one change, Carvajal comes back into the team. Um, the rest is the same. With one change in terms of um, how they're going to base on the pitch, I don't think Marco Sensi will be the number nine, the false nine, if you like, he'll be all more. As he did against Italy in the semi-finals of the European Championship, so let's see. Looking forward to this one. We're going inside. Come on. It's the um, the tent in the desert stadium. I'll buy it to show you. That's right, it's nil nil half time, and it has been a, a game technically really, really high. Lots of quality in the passing. Spain has managed to uh, avoid the pressure of, uh, of Germany. There was a time in minute 12 in which it was 74% uh, possession for Spain. 74%. And at that time was when uh, Spain got the best chance, best chance of the first half. The Olmo shot that uh, Neuer kind of saved. Uh, it wasn't a strong hand, but enough to actually get the ball to hit the uh, the bar. And after that, another chance for Alba. Shoot from outside the box. For Germany, they had to wait until the middle 44 to get the first shot on target, even though there were a couple of scares, both offside, including a disallowed goal. So all very, uh, very tight. Spain dominates, Spain control. Germany, we've seen a lot of Good stuff from um, Canabri on the right hand side, uh, from Gundogan as well, but especially Musiala. What a great player he is. Not much separating the sides. We'll have to wait for better chances, but in any case, this is a good result for both of them, aren't they? So, uh, a win in the next round Spain with Japan and uh, Germany with uh, Costa Rica, and it'll be first and second. It was a bit tense. I think both sides tried to go for the uh, for the win. In any case, second half, Germany grew into the game really, really dangerously. Every set piece, it was like for Spain. Every set piece, but um, but one one is the fair result. This was a high quality game, high quality game, and many would say, well, there were a huge amount of chances. 
they were enough and Spain needed a nice Simon to actually make sure that um, that they got something out of it. It was exceptional, but the man of the match has been given to Morata. For me, Musiala. Musiala was outstanding. Uh, further up the field, close to the striker, when he played in front of the two holding midfielders late in the game. What a game, what a player, what a player. He was involved, of course, in the move for the full group goal. And uh, yeah, Musiala and Germany can grow into this. They will beat Costa Rica. They will be second in the group, I think. Keep an eye on this team because they have a lot of what you require to be far, to go far. Um, quality throughout, goal, good substitutions, control. Um, and for Spain, it still is a coin in the air. We could have lost today, we could have won. But true. So, thank you. So there you are. We'll see. Anyway, going to the press conference now. Let me show you what a stadium looks like from the inside. I'm on my way to the press conference. Like this. Less sexy, isn't it? Hey, you're on the video now. Brian Hunter. I'll find it. 